big story on Monday morning on Eyewitness News at 6 a.m. Winter Storm Adrian. On the road, so this is Winter Storm Adrian right here. Look at this. We got some. Here is the radar. We got some very intense snow as as uh, Blizzard Adrian continues up, and uh, you can see how the snow is increasing. More bands coming in. Notice this band coming up right over here to the eastern part of the state. Very interesting. They're now notice an area of convection. There's really some potential thunder snow possible. Looks like thunder snow may be happening. Notice this area of convection down here. This looks very convective right here. Coming off uh coming off the Atlantic Ocean here. And, and you can already see on the satellite some rising cloud tops from this. If we go out a little farther. Yeah, you can see this convection area. You can see this is convection, not just bright banding. So, especially in Rhode Island and stuff, they're going to get maybe a pretty good thunder snow event. Getting really reduced visibilities right now. You can barely see the car coming down the street. I miss Blizzard, Adrian. Ability looks to be reduced maybe a little more than it was before, or at least a few minutes ago it was. But uh, we're definitely in a heavy snow band. It's not accumulating so fast, mainly because of the drifts. But
Here is the low over uh, just off uh, Delaware and Maryland area, heavy snow band. Look at this convective area that I'm saying is convective right over here. And you can see a lot of uh, heavy, uh, heavy rain on the water and that's going well into the snow. Looks like thunder snow happens in eastern in Rhode Island and into uh, Massachusetts, Eastern Mass. <laughs> wow, they're going to get it bad. with a very bad. And notice the development as the, uh, as the other load deepens off. It's now 24 degrees. It's 23 degrees where we are right around here. Um, 23.9 degrees. 2.24 degrees. And I don't think that's very right here, so we are at 100% humidity right over here. We'll widen out to see if we can get that on. Comma shape starting to, to happen, but uh, definitely the convection firing up. We just had a snow band come through. This snow band right here just came through. Whoa. Very hard to see, but it is. Storm Adrian. We begin tonight in the early morning forecast center with Curtis Grevin. Curtis, let's talk about where we are right now and what we can expect tonight. Well, good evening, Hannah. Good evening, everybody. Uh, so far, we've seen snowfall amounts generally on the order of two to as much as four, even five inches in a few locations. But that number will be rapidly increasing as we go through the overnight hours. Now, looking at the blizzard warning for the entire state until Monday evening, we will see blizzard conditions at times, meaning heavy snow, reduction in visibility and very strong gusty winds at times through the overnight hours into Monday morning. Also, looking at a coastal flood advisory for New Haven, Middlesex, and New London counties from 1 a.m. until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, and a coastal flood warning for Fairfield County between 1 and 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Here's early morning pinpoint Doppler and the entire state covered with moderate to heavy snow right now. We have had some reports of a little sleep mixed in in the eastern part of the state, so around Willimantic, also down along the shoreline and around to New London and Waterford. We've had some reports of some sleep mixed in, but the darker shades of blue in the western parts of the, sh of the state, that is some rather heavy snow coming down right now. Closer look at Hartford, we've got moderate to heavy snow coming down. And here in Rocky Hill, we're looking at that snow flying as well. Let's uh, head out to Chief Meteorologist, who gets the, the great job of being outside in the storm right now. Chief, how are the conditions out there? Well, right now, Curtis, I'd say the visibility in Rocky Hill is anywhere between a quarter and a half a mile, which technically is uh, some heavy snow. I'm just within a short walk of a uh, door out there, so I'm not far away from safety. But if you're going to be out uh, traveling tonight, it's going to be very, very difficult. And you don't want to get stranded on the roadways because uh, we do have wind chills in parts of the state. Uh, in the single digits and this is going to be a true blizzard for many parts of the state what is a blizzard well here's the definition you have to have of course heavy snow and gusty winds now you have to have winds uh, frequent wind gusts or sustained winds of at least 35 miles an hour for a long period of time and that could reduce the visibility to a quarter mile or less you have to have that condition as well for at least three consecutive hours and it does look like we're going to meet those conditions in many parts of the state as we head on through this
this evening and tonight. All right, let's uh, check out uh, what the winds are doing across the state right now. And we do have winds that are gusting to two between 40 and 50 miles an hour at the uh, moment. So they're already getting very, very gusty, and they could get a little bit stronger as the uh, night goes on. In fact, we could see winds gusting to between uh, 50 and 60 miles an hour, especially in southeastern portions of the state. And as far as the uh, visibility goes, well, in parts of the state, as you can see, a half a mile, a quarter mile visibility. And at times, we're going to be seeing snowfall rates between one and three inches per hour. Another band heating up right here. Lightning and thunder in uh, New York. I'm tired of having you. I said she's in here early and everything's half off. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, half off. Plus we'll give you an additional discount that's equal to your sales tax or no interest for three years. The New Year's sale at Pilgrim Furniture City in Milford, Southampton, and Manchester. We started early. So you can see this thing bombing out.